a toast to the morning. From here on the on the on the east coast, of Arkansas, uh, that uh, it's it's uh, the uh, cicadas. Uh, we call them locusts. Is here it's them seventeen year seventeen year locusts. You know, it's the year for them. Some people call them seven years. But uh, 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 it's morning time. Just 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 finished up a couple of sausage and biscuits, and I will tell you that. It's legal. It is a legal thing to do to eat a sausage and biscuit with uh, chopsticks. It's legal to do that here in the state of Arkansas. Just want to let you know that. The uh, this is the last. This is the last amount. Uh, kind of update. It's uh, oh, it's a great morning here, and and I show you something. Y'all see this? Y'all see that turntable yinner? Oh, well, the, 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 the way I got that turntable in, it makes it real easy. When you're working on something like this right here to have a turntable, you put them right there, and especially if you're using the nail gun, you can rotate it right around and uh, and get your work right here where you're at, and you don't have to walk all the way around it. Okay, this is nothing but a piece of, uh, that's about, that's about three-quarter inch plywood right there, the cheap stuff. And, and what I've done, is, is I laid it I, I laid it out here on a on a on a thing right here in the middle like that underneath the bottom of it and left it out here overnight. Oh I hear that I hear that train out there not to be distracted by the train by by no stretch of the imagination. Uh, don't let the train distract you. The uh, <laughs> the turntable. The way I did that is, is, you know, I raised it up, put something right underneath the center, and left it out here overnight. And then when I come back out here, the the, the piece of plywood had warped, and it put a bow, it put a bow in it like that, a hump, because the outside edges went down. And, and then when I when I when I when I turned it upside down and put it down like that, the, only the center of it is is the high place now, and it rotates. All so simple, but so it saves you time. The, uh, just for a little theatrics, the last, the last block goes into place. Put it right in there like that, and nail her home. Uh, we got four of these completed up to this, up to this one. Uh, this one happens to be eight. This one happens to be seven blocks high. I did two of them on this height, and then two of them are actually eight blocks high. And to to uh, just to get on with the with the project here, the uh, uh, the question is about the duct tape on the fingers. The reasoning is uh, well, not to bring the not to evoke the duct tape girl into this project but the thinking was uh, when I came out this morning after that nail incident through the finger uh, the thinking was was the old uh, thread on the finger so you would remember something you know tie a string on your finger and you would remember whatever it was that you was it was thought provoking well, the thinking was the, the the duct tape girl say put you. Actually, I had no choice in the matter. It was once, once it was the idea was envisioned, then it had to be carried through. So the duct tape on these fingers, and you may ask how come? And I did myself. I said, you know, how come don't put no duct tape on that finger? Well, I can tell you one thing. After you have, after you've shot a nail through your a two and a half inch finish nail through your finger, then you will not forget where this finger is at. You might forget where these others are, but you won't forget the one that you drove the nail through. But these these are just reminders to keep my fingers out of harm's way.
some old uh that's some old broom handles that I had and I think they was oak and it's a perfect fit for that seven eighths uh bit right there. And that's what we're going to use for the crank mechanism that uh, them old salvaged mop handles. The uh oh, we got we got several of these to do, so it's not much. If you've got a real good sharp bit right there and the wood's in real good condition, you just really don't have much tear out. The handles, this is a 7 8 inch thick pressure treated wood. This is 6 inches long and about a, uh, oh it's about uh, one and a half wide. And the holes there are one and eighth inches up from the end center line. The uh, the holes on them uprights right there was that that thing right there to back up and catch up. That thing is is 32 inches long total, and the hole here is 20 inches up from the bottom centered. The uh, and, and I'm gonna cut these out. But I got it marked out here on the plank, so I'm going to go ahead and drill the holes while I'm in here uh, drilling. And, and, if, and you see that, that it's, it's one and one-eighth of an inch from each end. Just one and one-eighth. This does not have to be precision work. The, uh, even though you, you want it to be... is the size exactly a nice fit for the little handle and this will be about two inches long fixed in there permanently and then the other one will go all the way across over the other to that other side and this will be a crank mechanism there just kind of explaining it out loud there a good nice fit lucky find on them mop handles 